Hello, That Weekly Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of That Weekly Indie Game, and we're playing Half Minute Hero Super Mega Neo Climax Ultimate Boy. What a mouthful. Uh, it came out on Steam on the 27th of September, so I thought, why not pick a relevant game? And it's an RPG, and it's quite good. It came out on the Xbox Live Indie Game Service quite a while ago, and it was obviously good enough to um, make it onto Steam. So basically you got your different modes which you have to unlock by completing the campaign and I'm just going to skip forward past all the tutorials and on to a later one. But basically you've got 30 seconds to defeat the boss and to battle, the battles are done automatically and you've got this time goddess helping you out whenever you go into like a village or summer time will freeze so you don't, it's not like that much of a rush but there's always side missions and bonuses to do. And there's always some like, there's easy ways to do the levels. And then, so yeah, here's a village, you can buy weapons, shields, and there's always little side missions which will help your overall ranking at the end. You get like a grade on every map you do. And the shields and weapons you buy stick with you, so it makes your character better, which will make all the things easier. So I just bought like an Indiana Jones style hat. And this is a combat very easy and level ups are done automatically to save time it's supposed to be a very fast paced game and there's a time goddess you can pay it's a hundred to start off with to get your 30 seconds back and then it doubles every time or it adds a hundred I'm not that sure but yeah on this map the idea is you can go the long way round here I'm just leveling up so it's a piece of piss and then it's a very easy method, but it gets you a bad ranking, which I didn't realise till later. But yeah, so you could either go through that cave, which is a shortcut, or go around the long way. And if you go around the long way on this one, you can get a special weapon, which will insta-kill the boss. And basically you're trying to level up until you're better than the end boss, who's going to cast a spell of destruction, which takes 30 seconds to cast. And that's the backstory to it. And there's an evil bloke running around, selling, well, giving this spell to evil people. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Quite simple game, but it it is really good. So I was cutting a bit short with this one about two seconds ago, but that bug swatter thing I got there instant kills anything bug, and everything was bug in this quest. So it was a bit out of the way. And each level has some titles you can earn. And at the end of every level you do, a bloke like Bugman here, for instance, will give you a little prize, like a club. And then after every level you go back to your caravan, after the time goddess gives you like a debriefing. And your caravan is made up of four people, the time goddess who will bring you chat history. Um, you have someone who likes exploring places and she tells you if there's ever a second path on your travels. And just generally, yeah. And then there's a leader of a caravan who'll give you like a heads up of what's coming. And there's another person who will say about the area you're in and ways you could improve on that level. And also there's competitive leaderboards. And you get like a little tale of what happened, which is here. So we're just going to cut through this bit into the map. You can go back and redo levels, which is quite nice if you didn't get that gold, which I didn't get a lot because I was very slow in doing it because most golds are earned by doing it really fast. And yeah, so you get to change your equipment up and then you get to start the next mission. And every, I like the way that every mission has its own little flair to it, like on this one. And also the end bosses are very different. Um, on this one there's like a forest fire which you have to stop but like if you don't stop it you don't get a better rank and you get a title if you stop it and just it's one of those indie games I really enjoyed it wasn't suggested by anyone I did it because I thought it looks amazing also the sounds like it sounds amazing this game does the background music it's just really innovative it's a very dumbed down RPG, but in a way, it's a lot better than others because although you don't spend that much time doing stats and sorting out your levels up, it's all fast paced and it 
gets you going, and it is, you can die on it, but if you die, you just go back to, I think the death mechanic, I think you should be dead for good, like, you just go back to the starting zone, I think I die in this bit now, but yeah, this is sort of, you get a lot of mini bosses as well, but yeah, he killed me, and then I go back to the start of the zone, um, leg it to the town, and when you pray at the altar, obviously time reverses. Oh, I didn't pray at the altar. That was very dumb of me. But yeah, now I've killed the brat. Also, you can speed, you can run really fast on this, but every time you do it, you lose health, which is what I do now. And so, it's like very risky doing it, but it's very, it's very. It gets you around really quickly if you need to get to that time goddess statue like I did. Um, also, the storyline, there's new modes to unlock once you complete this story. Like, I think there's Princess 30 and Dark Lord 30. I will be doing a video on them if I ever get to them. I only had an hour. And also, if you do watch my channel or watch all my videos on this channel, um, I've just started my A-levels and so my channel sort of slowed down, well, come to a halt. I will be getting back onto it once I've got back into the routine of school and A-levels. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. I will be getting back to the basement collection as well. I haven't just given up on that, just sort of do something a lot more relevant. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave suggestions, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you again next week.